everyone. Happy Saturday. Uh, I told you I'd get better at posting more often, so here we are two, three days later. Um, figure I'd give you a peek into my Saturdays, uh, which equals crazy messy hair. Don't judge. Don't laugh at me. Well, you can laugh at me. I don't mind. If you need a giggle, go ahead and use me as your source. <sighs> so, pain level right now, I would say is about a five. Smashed my elbow earlier. Um, it's it's really low um, for what it has been in the last few days. I've been like well over a 15 in the last few days. Um, 15 out of 10. Um, but oh, what if you hear noise? I just have YouTube playing in the background. Um, so. The weird talking is going to be the ads. Um, oh, right. So the last couple days I've been in a lot of pain. Um, nothing's really helping. I just come home and get in bed and just try to fall asleep as soon as possible. Um, but sometimes the pain doesn't let me do that. But today, not so bad. Not leaving the house because I don't know if you can see. Let me take you over there. Oh. You can't flip this, so you'll just see my crazy face. Uh, look at it outside. It was so windy. I don't know if you just saw the little fence that separates us from our neighbor. It fell. Um, so it's snowing pretty good. We're supposed to get a few inches. So I am staying inside and doing some cooking. Um, so I got up this morning and through some turkey wings in the oven. They've been in for about three hours. And any of the seasoning that went in with them is probably cooked out by now. Let me just turn the music down. So I'm just gonna add some more seasoning in. So my normal Saturdays I stay in bed as long as I can. Uh, then I get up, clean the house, do the laundry, change the sheets, go grocery shopping if necessary, but not necessary today, thank goodness. Um, and really just relaxing. Um, and now for the next few months, I will be working on my course. Um, try to turn to the camera. Uh, working on my course for my business ventures I've been telling you guys about. But my pain has just been like taking over every single thing that I do. So today I have accomplished getting out of bed, putting the turkey wings in the oven. Cream came home on his lunch break to see me, which always makes me feel awesome. So my normal days when I'm not in a flare, which I am in a flare right now, um, it's been a little over a week being in a flare. Um, so my normal days, I wake up and I'm at about a three out of 10. Um, I take my shower, I get dressed, I'm at about a four. Now I have to drive to work and deal with whatever the outside has to offer. Whether it's ice cold or really hot out, whatever the extremes are, because there's always extremes. So by the time I get to work, I'm at a six. So now I have to be at work for at least eight hours. Uh, my office is by a train, train tracks. So it's like an Amtrak. So every, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, it's driving by. Um, so so when I tell you it's near a train track, it's probably this far from my building. <laughs> so every time it goes by, I have to stand up because I can uh, feel the shake and the vibration in my uh, work chair and it's awful. It usually triggers my pain. Um, so while at work, dealing with everything going on around me and just my body choosing to do what it wants and react to whatever it wants. Um, by the time four o'clock comes, 
I am at about an eight or a nine. Uh, then I have to drive home. Um, and that's not including if I feel okay enough. I usually stop at my mom's house to see her on my way home. Um, but on most days I don't because I'm in too much pain by the time the end of the day comes. So, um, by the time I get home, I'm at a 10, uh, if not before that, because the drive, um, is awful. Like the potholes and the bumps and all that stuff. It's terrible. So that's just a regular day. That's not even being in a flare. In a flare, uh, usually uh, I'll wake up maybe at a five. The monster wants to be nice. Um, and then I'm usually at like an eight before I leave the house. So right now as I talk to you guys, underneath my eyes is killing me right now. Feels like somebody's punching me. So I don't know if you can hear the music in the background, but we love Kevin Gates. Um, we pretty much listen to him all day, every day. Uh, <laughs> um, he's not whiny. We just love Kevin Gates. I won't get into it, but we just love Kevin Gates. So that's what's on in the background. <sighs> January, almost over. March is coming. Kareem's birthday is March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. He's not really into like drinking like that, which is good because neither am I. Um, but we are going to be doing something special on his birthday. And I'm definitely going to be uh, recording it. So I will be posting it on the channel. But I'm not going to say what we're going to be doing until I post it. It's super cute. He's saying it's a birthday gift for him, but you'll be the judge. You can find out. His cousin, uh, Kareem's cousin, just found out that she's pregnant. Well, we found out on Christmas. And she found out yesterday what she's having. I'm so excited. I can't wait. They live in New York City, which is a few hours away from where we are. So we're not going to see them often, but every time we go down to visit Kareem's family, like his mom and stuff, um, she comes around. So that'll be exciting. I love having babies in the family. I'm going to show you guys the turkey wings. I wish I knew how to flip this thing. Those are the turkey wings. They're huge. I don't know if the camera really shows how big they are. We usually don't finish them in one sitting. Whee! So, let's see. Are there any more updates? It's only been like two days, so I'm trying to think. Um, Kareem's going to be working every Sunday, probably until the wedding, 12, 12, 20, in Jamaica. So I'll be doing a lot more baking, because I get bored when he's not home. Yeah, the wedding is in Jamaica. The last time I flew, though, it was not a good experience with my face. I cried for like the first hour of the flight and the last hour of the flight. The change in altitude was terrible. I think the pilot did something wrong when he was adjusting the pressure when we landed because it felt like someone was stabbing me in the eyebrows with like a gazillion needles. It was crazy. But I'm hoping that when I eventually find a doctor, still have not found one update on that, um, in New York City and or Boston, 
um, hoping they can help me with my sound sensitivity because I don't party. I don't party often. But for my wedding, I'm going to party. And I need to be able to handle the loud music and the screaming and just being able to enjoy myself because right now I can't listen to music too loud. I can't listen, listen to anything that has anything of too high of a pitch. So definitely need the doctors to help me out before the wedding. Every time we're in the kitchen, he's like, Babe, you should be recording this. You should put this on your channel. But he's not here right now. Oh, don't mind that pizza in the background. <laughs> it's a snack from earlier. Um, he's not home right now, so I will just record it. And he'll be so proud. These are going to bake for another, it's after 2 o'clock. These are going to bake for another 3 hours. I still have to, I'm going to make a little sauce now to put on top of it. Sorry, a little crazy with the camera right now. Oh my god, I totally apologize for my hair. It's, it's totally bananas, but I haven't been able to have it up like this in so long because it's usually like killing my head, but I'm taking advantage of not feeling 15 right now. I do have a weakness, ginger ale. This one's blackberry. I mostly drink water and green tea, but... I love ginger ale. I love flavored ginger ale. Ginger beer. It's not alcoholic. It's just called ginger beer. It's really good. It's really spicy. We put ginger in everything we make. I actually just put ginger in the turkey sauce before I started recording. So we put ketchup in a lot of our sauces that we make. Oof. mustard this isn't going to turn into a cooking channel but we love to eat so we cook a lot so we're going to definitely start recording being in the kitchen more plus it's easier when there's more than one person and you're trying to record because you saw how difficult it was for me to just do the peppers and onions with you guys Can't give you all of the ingredients to our secret sauce. But I'm letting you watch me make it. This isn't a very flattering angle. I need a fork. Hold on. I'm not gonna make that mistake again like I did with the chicken skin. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it fall out of the bowl. I'll show you guys when it's done baked together. It's nothing special. Just a little coating to put on the top. Oh, I need the brown sugar. So for the most part, I keep the temperature in the house when I'm home. Probably like no higher than 70. We just got new windows over the summertime. They were so drafty. It was so bad. Our national grid bill was so high. But it, these windows are way better. But the monster requires a certain temperature of heat 
before my face problem started, I loved the cold. Like the colder, the better. Freeze me out. But now I have restrictions on my colds, temperatures, because the monster requires a certain temperature to not cause me excruciating pain. I wonder if that was enough sugar. So I had a little brown sugar to offset everything else in here. So I ordered a sample for our wedding invitations like almost two weeks ago now. And they haven't come, but they're super cute. I can't wait to show you guys what they are. They're not just the standard they're not just standard invitations because nothing that cream and I ever do is standard so she said we should be getting them in the mail today but it is too cold to walk the distance to the mailbox that I have to walk I kind of wanted you guys to see me put this on the woohoo sorry for the bad cameraing you see that mm, here we go just putting it on the wings itself not in the sauce because it'll drip down into it but I already made the sauce earlier seasoned it and these haven't even gotten flipped yet I'm going to flip them in probably like an hour and a half hour and a half all right wow we are almost 17 minutes in i wonder if you all are going to stick that long through this video with me and my crazy hair i will post again for you guys soon uh thanks for watching i hope everybody has a wonderful day and stays warm if you're up in the cold where i am and to all my chronic warriors i hope that you have low pain days and listen to kevin gates because he makes me happy